Good evening, my fellow scientists. It is Wednesday, November 8th, 2017, and I have to say a huge thank you to everybody who has supported the All Iron Battery crowdfunding campaign. It's a huge gift to my students and myself because now I get to involve a student and have funds to buy the materials and we get to build an All Iron Battery. So thank you all again. It just, it's a huge, huge and meaningful thing to me to see that people are interested in this and that people want to, to see some open source plans for the all iron battery. Really appreciate it. How that's gonna work is I'm going to select a student over the coming semester and I'm going to put that student with the lab and a electrochemical tester and a whole bunch of materials and we're gonna go to town. We're gonna just systematically work through a whole set of different materials, parameters, with a unified testing procedure that's going to charge each one up to the same uh, amount of current charge, test the upper limits of voltage, discharge it, repeat that a whole bunch of times. We'll pull out a couple of quality variables. We're going to have to figure out exactly what those are before we start going through a whole bunch of tests. And then once we have that, we'll compare the whole lot, pick one or two to publish, and and give that to all of you viewers at home. And then if you're interested, you can either follow along and we'll put uh, put stuff up for you to try or you can get the final product and just build the one you want or just observe as we troubleshoot and fight with this uh, it's gonna be a wild ride I'm confident so what kind of things we're we gonna try I have a list I'd like to try iron as the anode throughout but the cathode can be iron cyanide iron chloride iron EDTA these are things I've tried iron sulfate I haven't tried yet we may well find some other salts to try. I originally tried some iron oxides. Those were not sufficiently fast at exchanging electrons. I had to give up, but with some help from our resident iron chemist, we may be able to try some different forms of iron oxide. In terms of the separator, I've been getting some requests for polymer separators. We will absolutely try polymer separators. I've got a couple of polymers I know how to make, and we'll try those. We'll look up some new ones. We'll try Nafion, which has come down in price. We'll give that a shot, and we'll put those in various matrices. We also have agar, and as I was showing last week, the deep eutectic solvent, choline chloride and urea, we'll give those a try as well, show how those work in this context. We're gonna try a bunch of pH values. Iron chloride, for instance, is not very stable at high pHs and tends to eat the iron anode at low pHs, so we'll just have to play that by ear. Each one may have its own particular happy place and we'll find that for each chemistry we try which whew, that's a lot of fun experiments to do the iron edta is soluble all the way up to ph 10 maybe higher and so we get to try uh, much wider ranges for some of these chemicals which should be interesting i'm hopeful that we can work close to neutral ph so that it'll be safer and more accessible to more people but ultimately we will publish the whole mess and we will show what is great for performance and what is great for safety. So if you're interested in that, I hope you'll tune in over the coming months. I'm going to update once a week on the battery chemistry. I'm going to cover other topics the rest of the time. We update Monday through Friday. We talk about the iron battery, but also about chemistry and interesting new results in science at large right here in the Allen Lab.